This video is going to be going over the um, Autodesk method for uh, creating the spiral slide. And so we're going to be using Autodesk to um, do this together. Um, I just want you to notice the specs on here because um, what we're going to be doing on the XY plane is we're going to be drawing this lip of the slide, which looks kind of like a smiley face. So um, what you're going to do is you're going to go into um, Autodesk and create a new part. Now at any time during this video, if you need to have it paused or anything like that so everybody can catch up, by all means, um, you should pause and rewind um, as many times as uh, everybody needs because I know that everybody's computer loads differently. Okay, so um, I'm going to start a 2D sketch and I'm going to choose the XY plane. I'm going to zoom out a bit and use my hand to drag. The first spec that I am looking at is that I want to create a circle. I'm going to put the point of my circle right at the origin. And this circle is going to have a diameter of 24. So what I'm going to do is I am going to type in 24. Um, the circle is so big I need to zoom out a bit. Remember, I'm zooming out by putting two fingers on the keypad and moving down. Um, and then I'm going to make another circle using the same center point. This circle is going to have a diameter of 22. And um, from there, I'm going to take a line. I'm going to draw a line that is cutting my circle in half. And then I'm going to push escape so that it stops drawing lines. Um, in order to get that smile feature that I'm looking for, I'm going to use um, under the modify menu um, the, the tool that says trim. And trim is a really cool tool because it's, you can select certain pieces of your, um, your drawing and trim it. The only thing is I don't think my line stuck, so I'm going to make my line again. Um, here's my line. Let's try that again, cutting it in half. Oops, I don't know if that, uh, let's see here. Cl click, okay, my line is there now. Okay, so now when I grab trim, I can select this top part and it will trim it off. That was cut off with a line. I can select this middle portion and I can select the, the end of the line on this side and the end of the line on this side. And so now, um, all I have is this, um, this this curve it looks like a, a smile and it's closed the only other thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take that line tool one more time and I'm gonna draw a line um, that is a, com uh, of com a vertical line um, and I'm gonna click I'm gonna make this line 18 um, and I'm it's just a line that's right next to my smile and when I finish my sketch and hit the home key, this is what you should have. Uh, you, you'll have your half circle shape that we made in that line that's 18. We're going to be using the coil feature to create our spiral slide. The coil feature can fi be found up here in the create menu. And um, you it's the third one down. It's called coil. I'm going to click on it. Um, it, it will highlight the shape that we created because that's the only shape that's there. You're going to click axis and you're going to click this line because this line is what it's going to use as a reference point for how it wants to, how it will coil um, our shape. You're also going to go to coil size and you are going to choose revolution and height and you're going to have three revolutions. So I'm going to change this to 3, and the height is going to be 132 inches. I'm going to say OK. And if you go now and hit the home 
screen, you'll now see that you have a spiral slide, and you can go ahead and um, save it, call it spiral slide, and you can also um, change the color of it like you have done with everything else that we've made so far. Um, I know I did this quickly, and it might take you a little bit more time than it took me, but feel free to watch this video a couple more times if you need to, and um, if you get this done then you should move on to some of the parts that you haven't gotten completed so far. But at the, by the end of the period, everybody should have a spiral slide. Um, that's it. Have a great day. Thank you.